Om Shanti, today is your 44th day of your beautiful blessing and in today's blessing, like in other blessings to Baba, has always told us that when you get into spirituality, you'll face a lot of hurdles in your life. And the first hurdles which come are not from the people actually, are from there within you. The hurdle of hope, the hurdle of truth, the hurdle of having loyalty towards God, you'll be questioned about all those things. The hurdle of difference between realizing what is right and what is wrong, the hurdle of deciding what is right, what is wrong, what are the right karmas, what are the wrong karmas. So all those hurdles will come. In Hindi, we call them pariksha. In English, we call them test papers. So these test papers in spirituality are all about how we face them, whether we blame other people, whether we find ourselves weak and we curse ourselves, whether we find reasons or we blame our complete destiny, in Hindi we say, Meri kismat kharab, or my destiny is bad. So we can do all those things and still be in the same place and never move ahead in life. So let's see what does Baba say today about how to face these hurdles. Let's go ahead. Baba says, may you transform reasons into solutions. Don't give reasons. But find solutions because reasons can make us weaker, can stop our progress. We might not be able to go ahead in life because of giving reasons. So many people won't be able to go ahead in life in the worldly areas of their life just because they have been given reasons throughout the life of the weaknesses within and the weakness of the surroundings and the people are they are surrounded by. And that's why they're not able to move ahead in life. And that's a weakness actually within. So Baba says, and constantly make progress as an embodiment of power. He's talking about power to face situations. The Baba says on the path of knowledge. So we have attained knowledge. If you go to Brahma Kumaris, you'll get the knowledge of who am I? The soul. Whose am I? I belong to God, the Father, the Supreme Soul, point of light, divine being. And being a powerful soul and meditating on God, the Father, reminds us every single day how to move on to the path of knowledge completely in a blissful manner and after attaining knowledge we'll realize that there's actually a need for fighting the weakness within without having the knowledge we used to think that anger is okay greed is okay jealousy is okay that's how you progress in life that's how you control things in life by blaming others you make them right you put them into their place and all those thoughts are actually making us weaker and draining us completely spiritually mentally emotionally we never used to realize that we used to be just in small bursts, bursts of ego and anger and we used to feel powerful when we were angry, when we were egoistic, when we could prove somebody wrong. And we used to feel that we are powerful, but God says that's not the way to feel powerful. That's actually draining you up completely. So on the path of knowledge, the more progress you make, <clears throat> the more Maya will come in, come to test you in different ways. What is Maya? Maya is a weakness within Anger, greed, ego, attachment, jealousy is all over in the world. There's Maya in everybody. We generally say God is there in everybody. No, God is not in everybody. But Maya is there in everybody. <clears throat> in simple terms, there is weakness in everybody, but not God. So Baba says when you move on to this path of knowledge, you'll face a lot of, a lot of uh, obstacles which are going to come from within. Somebody comments on something and you might feel egoistic and angry. Somebody says something, somebody doesn't listen to you, somebody doesn't appreciate your work, somebody doesn't like your suggestions and you might get into ego and you might get jealous, you might get, uh, you might get offended and that's how Maya attacks, right? Baba says, the more progress you make, the more closer you come to the Brahmin family, to the spiritual family, you'll find more and more of faults in other people and that's what you have to stop doing. And you have to stop uh, finding faults within yourself. Find the strength within you. The more Maya will come to test you in different ways, whether you are good enough to walk or not. So, Baba says these tests are a means to make you move forward, but not to look back. Accept your weaknesses. Accept your strengths. Find those weaknesses and change them into strengths and move forward. So, not to make you fall. They come to make you move forward and not to make you fall. You might feel that you've fallen, but that's not fallen. That's not like a fallen angel. You're actually there to move ahead and faster, actually. 
However, if instead of thinking about solutions, you think about the reasons. See, when we think about reasons, what happens? We start blaming other people. Mostly, if we don't have the power to accept things in our life. We might blame ourselves. We might blame the situations. We might blame the people around us. We might sometimes even blame God. So Baba says, well, that's going to make you more weaker, actually. And to take a wiser step becomes more and more difficult if you keep on blaming things around, blaming yourself, blaming your conditions, blaming where you were born, why you were born here, why you surrounded by people like this. If you wouldn't have a situation like this or a person like this in your life, you would have done better. Well, those things are not going to help you or me. So Baba says, instead of thinking about solutions, you think about reasons, your time and energy would be wasted. Both time, a lot of time is wasted by people thinking about why they couldn't be successful in their life, in certain areas of their life. And they give reasons for the times, for the government, for the situation, to the city, to the people, to the teachers, to the college, to the degrees and everything else. So they are blaming everything and they are wasting a lot of time in that and energy in that. Purity is lost and that's known as lack of energy or loss of energy. So if you think about solutions instead of reasons and remain absorbed in the love of having remembrance of the Father, being with Father, it helps us to absorb energy. We become powerful. We get the right direction, what to think, what not to think, what to say, what not to say, what to decide, what not to decide, and that comes through meditation. You will then become an embodiment of power because God is the supreme, almighty authority, the most powerful being in the whole world, and being in, his, being in connection with Him through meditation is the right method to actually pass all the hurdles in life. If you stop meditating, you do have the knowledge. You must have done the seven days course. But if you stop meditating, that's not it. That's quite less actually. So, you will then become an embodiment of power and become free from obstacles. It's like being connected to the charger throughout the time. If, you, if your laptop is connected to the charger, you are not running on your own battery. You are connected to God. You are not running on your own battery. If you run on your own battery, you will drain out. But if you are connected completely, the Supreme Being through meditation. You are not draining yourself out. You are using God for finding the right things to do, the right path. So with this, I leave you Om Shanti.